What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego back with some more boxing. So it looks like I was one for two with my prediction. My Broner versus Maidana prediction, terribly wrong. And I'm okay saying that. I'm glad Maidana won. Um, after the first round, I wanted to see Broner get knocked out. I'll kind of go over the fight, give you the ego thoughts. Um, Broner, he seemed like he was so concentrated. I don't know if it's the fame that got to his head or whatnot. Um, he likes the world star attention, the Instagram attention. I don't know what the fuck it is. But he looked terrible. And he let Maidana just come in from the gates, maul him. Like, literally maul him like a bitch in the alley. Like, you're robbing, trying to steal her purse. Like, he, he let Maidana just bull rush him, maul him, and didn't really have an answer. Um, it shows you how young-minded Broner is with his whole mentality. Like I said, he's more concerned with trying to look cute in the ring and look flashy. And A.B., well, tonight A.B. standing for Annihilated Badly because that's what Marcos Maidana did. Props to Robert Garcia, Alex Ariza, and, of course, El Chino himself, Marcos Maidana. Great game plan. Um, I was very impressed with Marcos Maidana's relentlessness. He was very tough. I will give Broner props for being tough, and that's really where the buck stops. Um, props to getting hurt badly multiple times and continuing the fight and getting back on your feet. Um, he got chin checked several times, and um, there were some where I thought another fighter, maybe a less lesser fighter, less conditioned fighter, would have went down from those shots. We all know Marcos Maidana has the thunder, hammer, hammer fist. Um, so that's really the only props that I can give Broner, and that's just for being courageous and tough. It was a good fight. Horrible game plan. This fight was very reminiscent to me to Robert Guerrero versus Andre Berto. And they kind of had the same game plan. Robert Guerrero's game plan versus Berto was very similar to Maidana's. I'm going to swarm him, make him uncomfortable, and they will not know how to adjust quick enough. And that also shows you the gap in between the boxing IQ and overall intelligence Floyd has in the ring versus his little brother, quote-unquote, Adrian Broner. I've never seen Floyd Mayweather. He's been in there with quick guys. He's been in there with guys who are taller than him, bigger than him, um, punch harder than him. I don't recall seeing a Floyd Mayweather fight where in round one, they just completely rushed him, and he was flabbergasted, didn't know what to do. This was what kind of what Broner um, did. It's like he almost froze up. He was taking some monstrous shots. I really have a hard time even scoring any rounds for Broner. Um, I thought he looked good in spots. He had a couple. Same thing with Berto. There were some spots where he had breakout um, like combinations or whatever, but he never really let his hands go, and just a horrible game plan against a fighter like Marcos Maidana, who's tough. We know he has a chin, and we know he's uh, heavy-handed. And you got to do something to deter that person from coming in. You have to capitalize. If they're rushing in crazy, then you got to give them something to make them think twice before they do that. Adrian Broner, especially early, didn't do anything to deter Marcos Maidana. So, of course, he's going to keep coming forward. Plus, you have to keep in mind, Marcos Maidana, he has more credible resume. He's been in there with Eric Morales, Victor Ortiz, before he established a quitter mentality or pattern. He has great names. Amir Khan, before he got knocked out, Danny Garcia, and the Lamont Peterson lost. He has great names on his resume, and he's fought at welterweight more than you. So you honestly have to stick to boxing and give him something to think about just with accuracy, pot shot him, fill him out, um... And then you can't taunt and talk as much shit as Adrian Broner did leading up to this fight. Even in the fight, the fight, they were doing the announcements. Broner walks over to Maidana's corner and he's like trying to stare him down, taunt him like it's some high school shit. You can't do that. You can't taunt somebody. Maidana's the silent killer type, just kind of like a Lucas Matisse. Shout out to the Argentinian fighters. These motherfuckers are tough. Sergio, Matisse, Maidana, all of them, tough. Just really tough fighters. And this is a grown man coming from an impoverished area in Argentina. You're not going to just be able to bully him or intimidate him. He doesn't even really speak English. So you can't talk all this shit, taunt him, get him all worked up. You know he's heavy-handed and have that performance. It just it looks very bad. Again, Marcos Maidana couldn't miss with some of the shots. He was landing at awkward angles. So it looks like Robert Garcia worked on him with that. Um... He threw a high volume of punches. And really, again, the only times where I think Broner really shined was 
more so because Maidana was punching himself out because he's not used to throwing a Leo Santa Cruz volume of fucking punches. At one point in the fight, they said Maidana had thrown 500 punches and Broner hadn't even threw, threw 200 yet. Um, at the end of the fight, Maidana threw 900 plus punches, close to 1,000. That's an insane amount. And I never thought I would see the day where the more athletic fighter threw less punches than the quote-unquote one-dimensional brawler sluggish type fighter it just doesn't really make sense I'm thrilled that Maidana won hopefully Broner gets a slice of humble pie decides what he wants to do as far as his rapping extra shit um humping Maidana like that's that's stupid that's like clown shit and say what you want about Floyd Mayweather but he talks all the trash before the fight after he's cool cordial he's like Shane Mosley he's a hell of a champ etc Broner doesn't really show that. He he acts like a clown before the fight, during the fight, after he did like Floyd Mayweather said on all access, Broner versus Maidana. He says, Lil Bro needs to know when to turn it on and turn it off. He has the capability or the skill, but he has to know when to turn it off. And it just seems that Broner's too immature to know when to turn it off. You're clowning around with the killer in there and humping him and pissing him off and you talked all the shit. He has a translator. He may not understand English, but he has a translator. He knows what the fuck you're saying. You can tell by someone's body language, by their motions, kind of what they mean. The whole time Broner's talking, 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 talking. Don't be about it or talk about it. Be about it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Maidana showed up. He was, like I said, he needs to work on his stamina a little bit, but great performance from Maidana. They came with the right game plan and he really bullied Adrian Broner and showed who had been fighting at welterweight longer. And that's all I can say. There is money in a rematch. I would definitely pay to see. It was a good fight. Um, I just really have a hard time giving Broner many rounds. I don't think I really give him any rounds because Maidana, even though he was tired, he was still landing detrimental shots in those rounds. Plus, he had all the knockdowns. Even deducting a point, um, I knew Maidana wasn't in jeopardy unless he got knocked out. So... Again, props to Maidana for having a game plan, sticking to it, and just steadily improving. Ever since the Devin Alexander loss, he got with Robert Garcia, and then he's been having some impressive performances. Broner, like I said, um, he just needs to work on his maturity level. Stop clowning around. Like he's in the in the middle of the ring. Like I haven't had I had some couple, a couple drinks, so maybe my eyes deceived me, but I could have swore he was getting rocked and caught with shots, hurt, knocked down. And in the midst of this, Maidana had him on the ropes or some shit. And he was saying to Maidana, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. What the fuck are you talking about? How can he hit you when he's knocking you down? He's really just battering you and bludgeoning you. It's just stupid shit like that. Like, how the fuck? Taunt somebody or showboat when you're winning the fight. You don't do that. He's, he's shaking his head no, but getting tagged and getting buckled and stood straight up. He just has some work cut out to him, especially in the, the maturity department. Um, athletically, he has skills to to be a problem, but he's his biggest problem, and that, that's just his mindset. You can't go in there joking around, clowning around. These people want what you have. Maidana has been without a title for some time. He's lost a lot of his recent big fights. He lost to Amir Khan. He lost to Devin Alexander. I mean, this was a guy who was contemplating retiring and he's from the hood in Argentina. He's from poor parts. Like, he doesn't want to go back to that. You don't understand that. He doesn't give a fuck about rapping and dancing and all kinds of extras and gimmicks. You can't play around with someone like that. And that's really all I got to say. Um, like I said, not many rounds, if any, that I would score for Broner. I don't know what rounds he just decisively won. Maybe, I think there was one round in the 11th round or something where he looked pretty good, but... Maidana also landed some some heavy artillery in, in the round that I'm thinking of, too. So, And amongst the other acts that I can't really respect, why the fuck did Broner leave before he can give a post-fight interview? Um, that's just chicken shit. Like, I think Miguel Cotto did it in the Mayweather fight. I don't like that shit. Stay. You got your ass beat. You got the slice of humble pie. Just deal with it. Uh, live to fight another day. Again, people give you probably credit for your heart and just being tough and other people would definitely have wanted to quit when Maidana was landing them hammers, and you didn't. So at least you have that to say, um, and just go back to the drawing board and, and decide what you want to do. And he really let Keith Thurman outshine him, someone else in his division. Um, Keith Thurman had a great performance. I'll talk about that in a separate video. 
But Broner, I just don't I don't like the departing after you, you lose and then you depart and you talk to all that shit. Come on. Again, props to my Donna. Broner got a slice of humble pie. And I'm I'm actually thrilled because my Donna's worked hard for that and I just I don't I don't like the fuckery, the humping him. It was actually funny when my Donna humped him back later in the fight, but um that's really all I gotta say. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. As always, hey, comment or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.